Leonardo da Vinci once said, study the art, the science of art. Study the art of science. Realize that everything is connected to everything else. Because I believe in what Leonardo da Vinci said, I believe that Leonardo da Vinci was a true Renaissance man. And for these three reasons, I believe that you should believe so as well. First, he was a, he was a true man, Renaissance man because he was a great artist. Second, he was a great scientist. And lastly, he was ahead of his time. First, I will tell you about how he was a great artist. The Gothic Leonardo, towards a reassessment of the Renaissance article by Joseph Manka said, Leonardo da Vinci can be said to have helped put an end to the, that form of early Renaissance art. He figured that he, his figures were not drawn from life, but from idealized visions. He was how Leonardo da Vinci powerfully draw, was drawn to Gothic style. Leonardo da Vinci is famous for such art as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. His art was at the beginning of the early Renaissance and towards the middle, and he was one of the few artists that pushed the art world towards the Gothic time again in the middle Renaissance. So he contributed a lot to art in the time. Which brings me to my second point, which is that Leonardo da Vinci was a great scientist. From the article of Leonardo da Vinci, Art and Science, James Ackerman says, he, earnestly, he had earnest efforts in mastering basic, the basics of traditional wisdom in each field of science. One of his most contributed fields is anatomy, where he actually was able to design a robot. He wasn't able to get the parts for it, but later, earlier in the 1990s, somebody put together his creation, his robot, using the designs that he had made and created the first robot using exact designs from what he did. This robot was able to sit, stand, and do many things that people in his time, Leonardo da Vinci's time, could not figure out how to do, and he was able to do it. So even though he wasn't able to contribute during his time, he was able to contribute in later time with his ideas in science. Finally, I will tell you about how he is ahead of his time, which brings us back to the robot. He created many ideas for inventions that work in today's society because we have the technology to do so. And a lot of his designs, they could work if he had the material and the means to do so, but he didn't have the chance to do it. So from the same article, the Leonardo da Vinci Art and Science, Ackerman also describes Leonardo da Vinci by saying that he was a proto-scientist in a modern sense and what constitutes science today. He brings his investigation to the nat of the natural world not only extraordinary artistic imagination, but also unique and idiosyncratic intellectual, position, <laughs> intellectual positions helped him circumvent mental blocks that his com contem contemporaries could not overcome. Because he had both experience in arts and science, he was able to combine them both so that he had a different view in both. He could see art as something more than what people before him had seen it as. And the same goes for science, where he could idealize things and figure out how to do things that people in his time could not figure out. From, Leo from Leonardo da Vinci Innovator article by Robert Squirry, it says that Leonardo da Vinci's comprehension and devotion translated science into art and was cat the catalyst harm that harmonized the world of outer and inner experience. So finally, I must conclude that Leonardo da Vinci was a, rena a true Renaissance man. A Renaissance man is defined as one who is cultured during the Renaissance period, who was knowledgeable, educated, or proficient in a wide range of fields. My three points covered why he was proficient in all fields and knowledgeable and educated. My first point was Leonardo da Vinci was a great artist. My second point was he was a great scientist. And my last point was that he was ahead of his time.